guys back tonight with a sand boa update. At this point, I wanted to show you the animals that I have in my collection locally. I have some animals in other cities being bred and things like that, but I wanted to show you what I have here right now. Brutus, come here. You want to be on camera, buddy? Are you going to hide? I thought Brutus wanted to be my co-star. This is my fearless Mastiff who's so dangerous he could kill me. I guess he's pretending this is a labyrinth. What are you doing, buddy? Hey, are you hiding from somebody? What are you doing? Hey. <sighs> He's always slimy. <laughs> Come here. He's feeling a little camera shy. Anyway, quick rundown. Obviously, these do not cohabitate. I simply have them in one tub for the sake of being able to access them all quickly and easily. This animal is about one of the oldest sand boas I have here. And this one is a yellow tiger. Nice looking animal. This one is Anurothoristic, also known as Black Albino. This one is one of Brian Burchek's babies. He owns BHB and Snake Bites TV. I'm sure you all are familiar with him. This is a little baby snow, which is an Anuri Albino. This animal came from Kevin Klein. This snow is a year older than the other one and is a paradox. This is what happens when you breed an albino paradox to an anuary. This little cutie is an aneurytheristic stripe and you can see why it's called a stripe because this little girl has a stripe all the way down her body. This one is an albino stripe trying to hide. It's going blue because it's getting ready to shed out of its old skin. Little cutie pie. And this baby is an albino paradox. I like the albino gene in a sand boa because they manifest in a nice, bright, beautiful color. There's a big debate right now about whether to keep your sand boas on sand or the most popular favorite for sand boa substrate is a tiny particle called sani chip which I'm certainly not opposed to. I've always kept my sand boas on sand. I've never had problems. I know other people do and I know some people feel really strongly about it. Uh, sand boas live on sand in the wild and my animals don't have any problems with living on sand. That's what I do. Here you have it. A gaggle of sand boas. Aren't they adorable? I think they just look like the cutest little worms. That was an update on my Sambo collection. Hope you guys liked it. Comment, tell me what you guys thought about it. Which one was your favorite? Post your questions below and I will see you guys tomorrow.